Hi, I'm doing this quick, um, I don't know, tutorial, I don't know what you might call it, but anyway, I had a few questions um, on how I mix my glues um, from my junk journals. Um, not only from my personal group, hybrid creative arts, but um, junk journal, a, a couple of other ones, and um, this is what I do. I had a, a plain um, white uh, white clear bottle and I found that when I used tacky glue it was way too tacky and my paper would lay down sort of lumpy so I didn't like that you know in my junk journals so I bought this and then when I started using this it was almost like you can see I don't know if you can see but you see how it, it goes down and then it's like really watery you know like really so I did this and then it would kind of come out a few areas would be um, um, dried quickly and other areas would be a little bit lumpy not as much as the tacky glue but nonetheless it was just horrible it just it was just wet and it didn't matter if I used a brush on it I mean I tried different techniques with both glues so I love the tacky glue because it's fast drying I like this one because it's so smooth so I said so why not come up with my own um, glue <laughs> or mixture i don't know what you want to call it but um so i decided that i had this clear uh bottle and i said okay so let's just get to it and try to mix it so what i do is i start um i don't know i would say like maybe um a quarter of this so if i show you on my bottle it would be like up to like like probably from here down of this and then from here if I have that much tacky glue I would put this much okay um, Elmer's clear glue so gee okay you you get what I'm saying right so this much tacky glue this much okay um, almost clear glue why do I get so like hello my words don't come out anyway so what I do is when I put it in I start working it I you know I rub it I bring it down because remember this is really thick and this is really creamy watery based so I just I just kind of mess around with it you know mix it I constantly look inside to see the consistency of both of them um, so I you know if it's too thick then I add a little bit more of this if it's too watery then I or I pour a little bit more of this and I keep working it in working it in you know sometimes you might get tired you go this way I do this I do this I lay it down you know I usually uh, if I'm watching my iPad or show on Netflix or something I, you know I play around with it I'm really fidgety when it comes to that you know I have to ha I have to have something in my hands to you know mess around with I can't just totally relax <laughs> so that's what I do um and I keep working it until it's almost like, I don't want to, let me see. It's almost like, see, like a, a creamy, a creamy base. See how it's like almost creamy? Okay, I would probably put just a little tap bit more of this. Okay, because what happens is um, as I use it, I add whichever consistency I need so if I need if it was a if it wind up being a, just a tad bit too sticky then what I do is I I go back and when it starts when I start using it and I have more room to add either or I added so um, that's basically my secret and once you get used to it because it's everybody's preference i like it really creamy you know because when i do glue my 
sheets together okay I kind of use my bone folder and I just go like this so if you you know it, it's just a trial and error all right and you know I have my little <laughs> Uh, wipey handy to just go across and then it doesn't ru ruin my um, my journal let me see if I can if I have a journal that I can pop sorry okay. I'll do this one since I still have to do um, a tutorial I mean well a show and tell and oops on this one, this one was, but I just want to show you really quickly I guess I'm showing you a quick, a quick sneak peek, peek at this. All right. So if you can see, this is a result of the um, the sheet right here. See how smooth and it locks. They're not lumpy. All right, and that's my secret for my papers. See, you can tell on this one because it's layered over it see how smooth it is there's no lumps anywhere and that's basically what I do um, I just I was tired of seeing lumpy pages and you know and or too watery that it wouldn't dry quickly so that's what I do with my glue I I hope that um, you'll be able to get the hang of it like I said is um, trial and error um, you have to, I don't know what you're using it for. I mean, mostly, um, it works on everything, you know, but I already know how creamy I like it. So it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a thing of choice, you know, do you want it thicker? Do you want it more watery? Nonetheless, both, 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 uh, glues work excellent. I mean, I love them. I wouldn't totally use them on their own because I have been, I'm used to this. I've been doing this for, I don't know, about a year or so. You, I mean, I'm used to knowing how, you know, how I like. So anyway, I hope these answers your questions um, and, um, and you get, you know, the, the, uh, mixture that you like and stay tuned I've been so busy my daughter's graduating and her prom and you know makeup and nails and planning and this and that so a lot of my time is going into that and you know I'm planning to move to and so it's a lot going on so I haven't had a chance to um, uh, record this one and, and show you this this journal that I made I I'm like so in love with this one and so anyway so stay tuned and I'll get back to this and I have to get back to my swaps that I'm mailing out today um so yeah stay tuned and subscribe to my youtube channel I have a youtube channel uh storing progeny creations I believe it is and um here I'm posting this one on my group, which is um, Hybrid Creative Arts. Um, really think about it. What don't you combine that becomes a hybrid? <laughs> so, um, yeah, subscribe. Um, I'm also admin at Junk Journal Jur uh, Junk <laughs> Journal Junkies. So go visit us there too. Um, this wonderful artists there that you can take uh, learn tips and and tricks from creating journals if you want to get into something like that um, so anyway I hope th this answered all your questions thank you for listening and I'll see you during within the groups okay bye